That rotation looks like it's starting to strengthen now just south of Fayetteville. Hey, this is your time to take shelter before it gets to your area. It's maybe some small hail up to the size of quarters with that one. Alerting Arkansas, sponsored by American Storm Shelters and McClarty Daniel. Winter will be wrapping up soon, and you don't have to live here long to know that spring means severe weather season. But what is this spring looking like? Here is your 5 News 2022 Severe Weather Outlook. Last year was quieter than normal. During the months of March, April, and May, we had 17 tornadoes in Arkansas, compared to 19 on average. Even fewer in Oklahoma, only 7. Our biggest tornado threat came the evening of May 3rd, where storms in Lafleur County moved into the Fort Smith area and dropped an EF-1 tornado near Muldrow and another in North Fort Smith and Van Buren. This one damaged the Crawford County Courthouse. We were lucky with a quieter spring in 2021, but that may not always be the case in the future. Studies are showing that Tornado Alley may be shifting east. This map shows where tornadoes usually touch down. A study in 2018 noticed that the center of Tornado Alley may be shifting east into Arkansas and the Deep South. Drier conditions in the plains may move where dry lines and fronts spark supercell thunderstorms. If this pattern continues, Arkansas's tornado count will go up. With this in mind, how is spring 2022 shaping up, specifically March, April, and May? We have a La Nina pattern right now, or colder than normal ocean temperatures in the eastern Pacific. That generally means a more active jet stream over Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma producing more storm activity. In fact, three of our four biggest tornado outbreaks in the natural state have taken place during La Nina. It's an EF3 tornado, a half mile wide, hit a portion of Garrison Avenue. The Fort Smith tornado of 1996 and the Joplin tornado of 2011 were La Nina Springs. However, this La Nina will be unique as it weakens to a neutral phase by summer. When this has happened in the past, we've actually had fewer tornadoes than normal across Arkansas. More things to note, this season may also be warmer than normal and slightly wetter than normal. The Climate Prediction Center is forecasting much of the plains and the south to have above average temperatures, more warm days than cool days. More rainfall is expected too, especially for northern and eastern Arkansas. Let's put everything together. Here is your 2022 severe weather outlook. With a more active jet, we are expecting more thunderstorms, but they won't all have tornadoes. In all weakening La Nina Springs, we have had near or below average tornadoes. For perspective, Arkansas gets an average of 19 twisters every spring. Specifically, Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley together get five twisters on average every spring. Tornado threats may be replaced with more hail and wind threats thanks to warmer than normal temperatures. Plus, flooding threats are slightly up with higher rainfall chances. More thunderstorms this spring with higher hail, wind, and flooding threats with a slightly lower tornado threat. That's our forecast. Every storm is different and just one cold front can turn into a major tornado outbreak. Severe weather season is go time for us and that's why we are alerting Arkansas to get you ready before the storm strike. With 5 News, I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge. And tomorrow night, meteorologist Michelle Trotter will be answering your biggest tornado questions, including which county around here has had the most twisters touch down. Alerting Arkansas will continue all week long. I don't know what's worse, not having any well fewer tornadoes or more flooding and hail and wind and a lot of rainfall. Right. What well, we've noticed, you know, when you get a tornado to touch down, you're limited in who you hit. I mean, when whoever gets hit is devastating. But when you have these hailstones coming down in a massive thunderstorm mm -hmm. or this whole line of wind that can really hit from a 40 mile radius and just hits everyone can sometimes cause even more damage. That's true. Wow. Yeah. So definitely something we have to be prepared for as yeah. it comes. Well, no severe weather this week, man. Yeah. No, weather looks nice. Mm -hmm.